All right, so let's go over Metal as a Service. And there's not a lot of information I found out there about this. Maybe it's just a single service, one in which you can find by going to maas.io. But whatever it is, we're going to learn about it together. It says very fast server provisioning. Self-service remote installation of any of these operating systems on real servers turns your data center into a bare metal cloud. I do not understand. What do you mean on real servers? As in the other some things as a service isn't actually on a server? I mean it is. But I do like the term bare metal cloud. That kind of just sounds cool. So let's approach this by first looking at the key features. Maybe we could pronounce this as mass. So mass, a key feature is automation. Automatic discovery of every network device, BMC ops with IPMI, AMT, and other protocol. So my question is, what do the protocols BMC, IPMI, and AMT handle? And why is this so fancy automatic discovery of every network device? I mean, service discovery is a thing that you can have in whichever cloud you're in. It looks like they have some more protocols here, PXE over IPv4 or IPv6 networks. And if you hover right here, it says pre-boot execution environment. So how does a pre-boot execution environment work? That is unique. Well, under this key feature of automation, we also have APIs for DNS, DHCP, IPAM, server configuration and provisioning. Okay, so they got a bunch of APIs for us, cool. The next feature is speed, zero touch deployment of these very famous operating systems. Full deployment time is approximately two boot cycles plus two minutes for disk imaging. So I ask how long is a boot cycle because then if we times that by two, we'll understand what they're saying right here. Next up is inventory. Discover every PCI and USB device in every server, inventory disk models and serial numbers, provision machines based on specific configuration details to optimize your applications. All right, moving on. <laughs> Storage layouts. Create advanced file system layouts with RAID, Bcache, LVM, ZFS, and more. Automate storage configuration through APIs. Allocate servers based on storage. Hi, so... Okay, IPAM, the HTTP DNS, configures server network interfaces with bridge, VLANs, bonds, and addresses, integrated best of breed, highly available open source DHCP and DNS. All right, so we got that taken care of with their little image of a scale with switches. Hardware testing sounds like it would be a unique to mass. So run tests to get up-to-date information about hardware health, benchmark disk, RAM, CPU, and network performance, DevOps on bare metal, integration with Chef, Puppet, Salt, Ansible, Conjure Up, and Juju. They even give us a link here. REST API, CLI, and Python bindings enable full lifecycle and project automation. Here's a network monitoring feature. Continuously observes network traffic and catalogs every active IP address of unknown origin. Discovers rogue devices, IPs, and MAC addresses. Drives active scanning of network ranges. All right, that sounds really good for our security plus focused viewers out there. So I'd ask, what can Mass help monitor? It can monitor for rogue devices, IPs and MAC addresses. I mean, I wonder what they're trying to say there, just known bad IPs or MAC addresses. But then right here, drives active scanning of network ranges. So once you have Mass up and running, it will actively scan for you, like automating Nmap, is that, is that what that's saying? I'll just leave that question there in case my inferencing is way off on this. Okay, going back here, authentication and identity, inter integrate with LDAP, Active Directory, or SAML for central identity management and single sign-on access across multiple mass regions. There's a composable systems feature. Drive, Cisco, UCS, Intel, RSSD, HP, Moonshot, and more. I've never heard of any of these. Supports dynamic hardware composition with Intel RSD. So first question, what is a composable system? And using one of my favorite studying strategies, I'm going to go ahead and find pictures of each of these. Okay, I changed the question from uh, what kind of pictures can you find to what are the acronyms in Cisco, UCS, Intel, RSD, HP, Moonshot stand for? Well, this last one, this is easy, just Hewlett Packard for that acronym. Um, it's nice that they have a pretty cool server name, so let's start back and work our way uh, forward, maybe. 
HP Moonshot is just a server type, so that's the name of these servers here. Maybe they're specifically associated with software-defined servers? Wait a minute, SDS. Okay, I was thinking SDN for a second, so sure, SDS, software-defined servers. I'm not familiar with that term. Anytime you crack open a server, though, to look at the uh, PCB board and around it, I just think it's so cool. Okay, so that's that moonshot. Intel RSD, the RSD, I assume, stand for rack scale design. So I was trying to figure out, without spending too much time here, trying to figure out if that's the name of a server Intel offers, or if it's just a rack design, like it says, like where certain things um, should go. Intel RSD must just be a particular design. And now for the Cisco UCS, which I actually pasted here because it's hard to remember. Uh, UCS standing for Unified Computing System, and that's what it is. These pictures, more than all of them, really drive home the point that we are looking at metal as a service. Look at all this metal. And at the end of the day, a Cisco UCS is a name of just particular servers Cisco offers for sale. So back to our mass.io site. It says cloud metadata, reuse standard cloud operations with cloud in it and metadata services. Hybrid multi-cloud operations now include bare metal with no change in applications. This is all just sounding like they offer you a server, a very own server for you. So it's very similar to the on-prem or co-location kind of model, which is, I mean, not cloud. This whole site sounds like they're just taking the word cloud and applying it to old tech while using, as we can see in our questions, some fancy new terms. But let's wrap up our feature list here. The last one is KVM MicroCloud. Designate servers to host KVM virtual machines to be dynamically provisioned alongside physical servers. So here is their customers that they're boasting. These are big names. If we read some of their description down here, real servers self-service. You can run the data center, but your customers decide what they want to do with the hardware. They love the cloud experience, but it's more efficient for you to own the hardware. Mass provides super fast self-service provisioning of Windows, Ubuntu, and the other two operating systems we've talked about before. Here's maybe a distinguishing paragraph for us to read. Mass implements all the standard features of public cloud, like instance metadata and cloud in it. Customers get complete control of the deployed machine. Canonical created cloud in it and leads the project globally. We ensure that Mass provides a first class cloud experience for physical servers based on x86, ARM64, Power, and Z architecture. These last two are very unique, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we got a blog post I can read if I feel so motivated in the next video. A webinar. Ooh, a white paper. I love those. If it comes in PDF form, I'll be in. Uh, oh, if I have to sign up, though, that's a no-go. At least not right now. And I don't really see a need to read through these other things. You can, of course, go to the site yourself. But that's enough for this video. Look at that. We got... Seven solid questions to answer to maybe feel more confident walking into that Security Plus test. And we slash I have a few to-do list items here to accomplish.